Part 2. Verdant Wind. Pegasus Moon. Valley of Torment. Having repelled the Imperial Vanguard, the Alliance Army requests reinforcements from Judith, head of House Daphno, the governing body in the northwestern regions of Alliance territory. What? Not enough blood for seconds? I'm barely half full! You eat too much anyways, Raphael. Supplies are running low, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. You've always been so level-headed, Cyril. Now that you've grown up, you're even more that way. Maybe it's just that the rest of you haven't grown enough. You could work harder at being reliable. I can't grow if I can't eat. I have some good news for my hungry friends. We got a reply from Judith. Mr. Leaderman has called a meeting about it. Hurry up, everyone. We finally received a reply from Judith. The hero of Daphnil has agreed to support us with soldiers and supplies. She's gonna give us food? She really is a hero. Maybe Raphael will simmer down now. Now, regarding where we're going to receive the delivery. As this is a request from none other than the leader of the Alliance, I wish that I could send troops at once. However, openly marshalling soldiers within my territory could provoke other members of the Alliance. Therefore, I will secretly gather troops in Aelel, the Valley of Torment. Will your group be able to receive the soldiers at this location? From there, it should be safe to return to the monastery by following the border between the Alliance and the Kingdom. Aelel is on the border between Daphnil territory and the Kingdom. It'll make sense when we get there, but it's a peculiar region. I recall there being a scary legend about it. In any case, if we use that valley, we shouldn't have to worry about being noticed by other Alliance Lords. Aelel, the Valley of Torment. In response to the Alliance Army's plea, Judith has agreed to provide soldiers. To meet up with reinforcements, the Alliance Army sets out for Aelel, the Valley of Torment. Unbeknownst to Claude, something else awaits them there. I'm getting all sweaty. Don't be a wimp. Anything's worth it for more food supplies. Move over, Raphael. Somehow you make the heat even worse. Let's stay calm, everyone. Once we meet up with Judith's soldiers, we can go right back home. Oh, I finally remembered. The legend goes that this valley was born from the wrath of the goddess. They say a pillar of light poured from the heavens and completely burned away the forest that used to be here. So, you're telling me the goddess, who is supposed to be benevolent, burned a forest to a crisp? Typical. That's what the legend would have us believe, but it's not recorded in any of the scriptures. Either it's completely made up, or the goddess is some kind of monster. Huh? Is that...? The time for idle chatter is over, Claude. 
Look over there. Ah, has someone come to greet us? That banner does not bear the Daphnal crest. If memory serves, that's the crest of House Roe, formerly Lords of the Kingdom. They joined the Empire side without hesitation during the coup. And now here they are, lying in wait for us. Damn. I thought we had disposed of all the spies. House Roe is mediocre and vulgar, but I hear their knights are powerful. What about the Daphnal soldiers? You don't think... Judith will be fine. It would take a lot more than that to take her down. Everyone, prepare for battle. I leave the command in your capable hands, my friend. I must keep learning. Valley of Torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. So, their general must be that stubborn-looking old man. He looks like he wouldn't even forgive a sobbing child. It's good we came armed for the occasion. Care to find Judith? The flames are flaring everywhere and burning people where they stand. LL's a terrible place. Everyone, if you don't want to get burned to a crisp, watch your step.
shall we? Let's make this quick. Coral wasn't personal. Let's go. My orders? What's my strategy? Steady now. Well done. I don't want to fight you, Professor. But this is how it has to be. There's no turning back. You... You want to spare me? Why? Well, I'll do it. I'll join your side. Let me fight for you. At the ready. I will prevail.
crest of flames. <laughs> Quite full of themselves, aren't they? A nobleman does his duty. Good, but not enough. For Lady Rhea. Proceed carefully. That helps. Got yourself kept.
fitting outcome. The weak fall, the strong live. War fuels my body and mind. Coral wasn't personal. but it's you or me. What's my strategy?
thought you could best me. for my liking. just yet. This could turn the tides. Just like that.
Here we go. Attack them from both sides. Expect to kill me? I am Gwendol, the Grey Lion, a knight by the hand of Count Roe. Do your worst. That's what you get. Impressive. Yeah! Oh! You lost that one. Make a difference? Wendell is here, and he doesn't look to be an ally. Oh, the hero of Daphnel is here. I'll expect more from her than the young ones. This could turn the tides. There is still more to learn.
got yourself killed. Gotten stronger. More effective. must have been struggling with the position he found himself in. It's time to gather ourselves and pull back our troops. <laughs> to think we'd get into a scrap here of all places. We're lucky we all made it out alive. Don't worry about it. In this day and age, it's a miracle I've been unscathed this long. Anyway, long time no see, Professor. Are you still watching this boy's back? Can you quit calling me a boy in front of everyone? I'm the leader of the Alliance now. It's not proper. Not proper, is it? Says the leader who has neglected Alliance territory for years. If you're really the master tactician, you should go back to working quietly at whatever little desk you do your planning on. Uh, don't call me that either. Who even came up with that nickname? <laughs> it's a perfect title for a boy who loves crafty schemes as much as you do. You should be grateful to the professor. On your own, you'd look like a scoundrel of a leader. <laughs> Claude's usually so flippant, but even he gets overwhelmed when Judith is around. As expected from the leader of the prestigious House Daphne, her dignity is beyond compare, even if she is no longer one of the five great lords. The five most influential lords of the Leicester Alliance. They hold the voting rights at the roundtable conferences. House Daphne used to be included among their ranks, but division from within has hastened their decline. Their vote has since been passed to the emerging Margrave Edmund. Thanks for the exposition, Gloucester boy. Boy? I will not. Now to business. There were some unexpected interruptions, but I've brought soldiers and supplies as promised. Thanks, Judith. I'll gladly take them off your hands. Hold your horses, boy. 
Your misunderstanding. These soldiers are precious to me. I made them what they are. I'm not about to loan them out to someone. No? Then why did you come here? What I'm saying is that I'll be joining your army. You're going to fight the Empire with the Knights of Seros, right? Fight for Lady Rhea? Not without me. That's admirable and all, but we still don't know for sure if Rhea is in the... Oh, she's there. A witness saw Lady Rhea being dragged off by the Imperial Army after the battle five years ago. Are you sure your source is reliable? One of my own saw it happen. I'm certain. It seems we chose wisely when we decided to fight against the Empire. But you're the leader of House Daphne. Is it okay for you to leave your territory unattended? And what about you? Is it okay for you to leave the Regan territory unattended? That's... I... I've left it in the hands of a reliable retainer and... And I've asked that retainer to watch over Daphne territory as well. Wait, wait, wait. You just up and decided to get my retainer to do that without even asking me? No respect, this one. Oh, you haven't met him yet, Professor? His name is Nardell. He strikes me as a really special individual. And he's quite handsome, too. So that's your definition of handsome? No objections, then. Good, that settles it. House Daphnel is now yours to command. I'm sure you'd come along even if I refused. So be it. We'll be counting on you, Judith. With Judith joining our forces, we've secured some more troops and supplies. Albeit not many. Hmm. I'm sorry it couldn't be more. No, it's enough for the time being. We'll use them to secure even more troops and supplies. The key to my plan is Count Gloucester, the leader of the pro-Empire faction in the Alliance. You intend to sway my father to join the other side? If Count Gloucester were to switch to the other side, that would basically unify the Alliance. Then we could utilize our full military force in the fight against the Empire. You don't mean to ask me to persuade him, do you? That would be quite impossible. I don't plan on it. We'll just take his concerns out of the equation. The Aramid River flows along the border between Gloucester territory and the Empire, right? Of all the bridges that cross it, the Great Bridge of Murden is the only one near Gloucester territory large enough for an army. Currently, the Imperial Army occupies it. So, if we were to capture the bridge... Count Gloucester would be freed from the threat of the Empire, thanks to us. But we have to pass through Gloucester territory to reach the Great Bridge of Murden, do we not? Yes, and if we attempted it, naturally he would try to stop us. I am sorry, but I must ask. Surely you do not plan to engage in combat with my father? Don't worry. I want him as a future ally. What good would it do to waste both of our forces fighting? We can't be stealthy with so many people, but I have a scheme. Preparations are already in the works. <laughs> so the Master Tactician is finally going to show us his true power. I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> I'll do my best to live up to that name by making my scheme as impressive as possible. <laughs>